Good morning, TJ. Miss Khan's here. I just want to let you know that it's Mr. Mulaney's birthday. So if you see him, here's his picture. I don't know how they're going to put it on. It's over here somewhere. Go ahead and wish him a happy birthday. Have a great day, TJ. Welcome back. Yo, 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 it's Ty the guy, and I'm feeling pretty fly. God, that was angelic. My name's Charlie, and we're the main anchors for this session. Little main ink sesh. Let's run it. Love that. Starting off strong, we got some insane news for the seniors. On April 15th, TJ is doing a College 101 session to help you start understanding yes. the college readiness process. Dude, I am so enthusiastic for that, this to happen. Let's go. I know I really want to attend clown school in northeastern Syria, but I don't know the process and wish to get there. That's interesting and clear as mud, Tyler, but I want to see where that buffooning takes you. Now let's send it to admin. Good morning, Spartans. Welcome back. Hey, look, it's snowing. That's okay. It's going to get warm the rest of the week. Congratulations to all our teams that um, had awards and went on trips over the break. It was so good. Good to see your pictures. Um, SAT, PSAT, starting next week. Please, 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 by the end of the week, check across from the cafeteria. We'll have lists up where you go, when you go. Have a great day. Good morning, TJ. It's Mr. Scarry. Just wanted to say I hope you had a great uh, spring break. You got some rest and you're ready to go. You're running out of time to fix those grades. There's less than 40 days of school left. Um, so it's time to get after those grades, get them up, make sure you're passing every class, um, trying to get that GPA up there so you can be part of that honor roll assembly, maybe get a shot at one of those great prizes that we give away. Um, other than that, I know it's cold today, but make sure you take your hoods off when you're inside the building. Um, helps us with security. Make sure we know who you are and that you're one of our students. Um, other than that, if anything comes up that you're worried about or concerned about, make sure you come down here and report it. Let us know what's going on so we can look into it for you. Um, be nice to each other, TJ. You don't know what other people are going through, um, so be kind. That's all, TJ. Hope you have a great week. Hey, TJ, Aaron Thompson, counselor, coming at you today. Wanted to let you know that next year, I think you guys missed the boat. We are offering a Latin American literature class for seniors, and we are looking for more of you to sign up for that class. I think it kind of got lost in, in translation when you guys were signing up for your choice of studies. Please come see your counselor, and we can certainly switch you into that Latin American history class, Latin American literature class. Second semester, you do get concurrent enrollment, so it may save you from taking a language arts class when you're in college. Also, we are sending passes for the last of you that have not made choice of studies. So if you get a pass from your counselor, come ASAP. We're trying to get your choices in so we don't give you whatever's left over. Thanks, TJ. Slick, that is clear as daylight. I can finally beat the Ender Dragon with this new information. I'm going to cry. Dude, that is amazing. You know there is also a 3v3 basketball tournament here at TJ on Friday night? If you scan this QR code right here, you can register your team. Anyone at TJ can be your team. Even Mr. Lehman is creating a team. If you want to play against those guys, you know you need to get your team together by Friday using the QR code. After seeing the constant stories from the Ducks 7v7 tournament this break, I can't help but try to recruit Jake Scobie and Jake Tapia for my team this year. You guys look great out there. Those stories were absolutely obnoxious. I think sports has some sick information for us. Let's run it to those Jets. What's up, TJ? Welcome back. It's Sadie. And Delina, your sports anchors for today. I hope everyone had an amazing break and stayed safe. To start off, March Madness just ended, and it was such a turn of events. UConn and San Diego State battled it out in the men's championship. UConn ended up winning 76-59. to On another note for the women's championship, LSU played Iowa. LSU pulled out the win with a score of 102 to 85. Although LSU won, Caitlin Clark on the Iowa team was still named National Player of the Year. And she was also able to make history during this tournament, being the first player in the NCAA tournament history with back-to-back 40-point -back games. She also had 191 points throughout the NCAA tournament, being the most in men and women's history. Not only that she has not only she has broken the women's single tournament assisted record with 60 assists. That's wild. Now let's talk about TJ Sports. Uh, in TJ Sports, boys, boys varsity baseball has been postponed due to weather. As of now, the boys lacrosse team still has their game versus Conifer at four at Conifer. Uh, boys volleyball has a match today versus South at South. 
And JV plays at 4.30 and varsity plays at 5.30. Boys Swim and Dive also has an all-delay meet versus multiple schools at 4.15 at George. That's all from us, TJ. Let's send it to the halls. Peace. Uh, hey, it's Giovanni from TJ Baseball. We had a game yesterday against Lincoln and we beat them 15 to 1. Uh, our next game is Thursday against East. East. Hey TJ, it's Olivia from Girls Varsity Soccer. Unfortunately, we took an L yesterday, but we have a game tomorrow at TJ against West, so come out and show some support. The 3v3 tournament? Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess it's going to be fun, but I don't see the point of actually having it because the teacher admin team is going to win, so why waste your time? I love sports, especially cornhole, in which I played back in 08. Jeez Louise, what a time I had out there slinging bags. Tyler, that is so cute, dude. I wish I could have been there, but it seems like we have a few announcements and some news to get to. Spring has sprung, TJ. And it's snowy today. Yep, that's spring all right. Anyways, despite the weather, I'm Vince. And Magnolia. And we're here to give you the wacky happenings around TJ. And beyond. To start, the Broncos quarterbacks, Farrah Hicks, was arrested in South Florida over a weekend ago for supposedly disobeying a city stop sign, driving with an expired license, and carrying a concealed firearm without a permit. What does this have to do with football? He plays for a football team. Then why was nothing said about the game? Because it wasn't a game. Then what does this have to do with football? Anyways, before I have an aneurysm, we should probably move on. In international news, NASA will be sending four astronauts to the moon for the first moon trip in over 50 years. The Artemis II will include three Americans and one Canadian over the 10-day mission. The trip is expected to take place sometime after November 2024, and the crew will circle the moon before returning to Earth. And according to the CDC, there's, a re there's been a recent salmonella outbreak in over 11 states, and 12 people have been reported sick in the past few months. Mmm, I could really go for some raw cookie dough right now. No, you keep your hands away from the cookie dough. Did you not just hear what we said? But I'm hungry. And I don't want to get sick because you needed a snack. Aw, oh, man. Well, that's all for today, TJ. Stay safe, stay, stay cool, and stop thinking about raw cookie dough for five minutes. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, see you later, TJ. Good morning, TJ. I hope you guys had a lovely break. Juniors, remember that it is CMAS month. So Friday, April 21st, you will be taking CMAS. Be sure that your Chromebook is fully charged and that you bring it to school because we will not have that many uh, loaners to give out. Um, and if you're having any issues at all with any of your Chromebooks, be sure to come to see me beforehand in room 103. Thank you. TJ, Ms. Reed here to remind you, tomorrow and Thursday, those are the two days only that you have to audition for the talent show. I don't know how to convey how awesome it is. There's all kinds of talent in this school. It is in juggling in singing, in playing piano, in playing guitar, in having, I don't know, a riff off with Mr. Long because he's awesome. For those of you that were there last year, you know. Come out, there's still time to sign up. Find a poster, use that QR code and get yourself registered so that you can audition and be a part of this. That is April 5th and 6th. If you need more information, look at the second QR code on the poster, it tells you how to do it. We'll see you there, TJ. Hi, TJ community. This is TJ Speech and Debate Club raising money for our upcoming school year by selling graduation grams. These will be small bags of candy and stickers that students can buy for seniors with a sweet message. This will greatly help our small but mighty club. Thank you so much. Today, Jake Tapia threw a fit about being a main anchor. So we decided if you want him to be, the to be main anchor the next time, we have this job rotation. Vote for him using this QR code on the screen. Sick. Thank you, TJ. That's it for us today. Bye. Hello, Mr. Bailing. So the question is, what cannot talk but replies when spoken to? <clears throat> what cannot talk but replies when spoken to? Clearly. Obviously. It is, look out! Where do you go? <laughs> it's the woman on the street, again. I feel like I'm always woman on this street. Mr. Vichar, what is a question you could never answer yes to? Hmm. Oh. Are you asleep yet? He got it! Oh my god, good job. Yes! 